and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be look I'll be uh, taking a look at info items add-on. Now this has been uh, around for a little bit and it and when I first saw it, it kinda piqued my interest, but I never just got never really got around to do uh look having a look at proper look at it. So uh and I saw it the other day and I was like, yeah, uh there's some cool items, let's take a look at it. Uh god, it's gonna take you away. Oh wait. Uh, yeah. So one of the items I'm inter I, I am really interested in looking at is the uh, Y level one. This one that tells you like what Y level you're on. Um, and I want to see ha uh, have a look at that because it might be a good uh, um, oh well, a good uh, word. <laughs> Might be a good, um, you know, uh, I can't think of the word, a good, you know, option, a good alternative, there we go, a good alternative to having the position in the top left there. So let's have a look here. Oh yeah, so, info items guidebook. So the compass now displays your cardinal facing direction and angle. So let's get... To myself a compass so that they've changed how the compass works one two three four and a red stone dust let's make a compass ah, so I'm facing south facing west facing north facing east south West. Oh, it even shows you the position. So west, oh, angle. 97, 90, 120. So yeah, it shows your direction in like 350 degrees. So north, exactly north would be one. Yeah, would, would be negative 180 then, I guess. That is exactly north, I guess. And east would... I don't know. But yeah. Now that is a good uh, change, because some uh, stuff is depending on which uh, direction you're facing. So this is an easy way to uh, uh, figure that out. Uh, the clock now displays the time and the number of days it has passed. So that's one redstone and four gold. One red stone, four gold, and you make a clock. Yeah, time of day and how and how many days has passed? Yeah, that's cool. Um, and if I time set zero, so yeah, day zero six a.m. Yep. That is pretty cool. I do, I do like that. And that, um, I don't have it activated for this world, but uh, there is a saying you can toggle to uh, tell you how many days it has been in the just below position. So this is a good, a good alternative to that. But I think um, I personally prefer the counter in the top left. Uh, let's move. Then you have field map display displays your X and Z coordinates for that dimension. So a map is just a piece of paper. Uh, one, two, three. Piece of paper. And then, oh, do I need a cartography table? Uh, I have some photography tables up here, don't I? Uh, this we... There it is. Empty map. Yep. So, X166, yep. And Z59. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it is a little bit annoying that it is directly above the map. Like, if it was right at the top of the screen, that would be better, in my opinion. I don't know if they can change that, but if 
Uh, if they can change that, I would do that if I was them because that way it's not in front of the map and you can actually see the map properly. So, ups and downs with this one. But it does remind me of like uh, back in console edition, you used to have the uh, coordinates at the top of the map. Yeah, I'll just stick them in there. Then you have the depth meter, which is for copper and the redstone. Copper, copper, copper. One, two, three, four. And the redstone. And you have the depth meter. Tells you what wire you're at. Yep, that's pretty cool. Yeah, on well, yeah. Just it. This just requires four copper and one redstone. Mm, right. The copper I like. The redstone not so much. Um, but to be fair, I'm not exactly sure why I would you replace the redstone with. Like uh, I don't know. Red dye maybe. Or something, I don't know, but because it's it, because you need an iron pickaxe just to mine redstone, so you have to get iron, you have to mine red, find redstone, mine. Redstone's not super rare though, but. Yeah. Oh, but it, yeah, it actually says it's, if you're at the ideal level up for an ore. That is really cool though. As, so, does it do that for any other ore? Uh, let's see, so at Y23, yeah, oh, yeah, there you go, iron at to Y20. Uh, That's cool. Uh, if we go down here, got iron, oh, there's some mobs there, lapis at here, gold here. And uh, you probably have to fight up to get copper and... Uh, um, so let's use my universal remote to teleport me whom game mode one. Oh yeah 98 for coal iron and emerald oh, well iron's also pretty good here I guess so, yeah and then it goes up so, yeah it tells you what to level or spawn on uh, that is really cool. I was uh, just saying how in uh, a couple of reviews back in the uh, more ores and tools add-on that um, there's really no way other than like trial and error to tell like what level all the ores spawn on. If they added an item like this that told you what levels the ores spawn on, that would be really cool. So yeah, um... Oh, not that. I want to go into game mode zero. Um, so yeah, if the um, more ores and tools add-on devs are watching this, yeah, take that, copy it and put it into your add-on, but make it work for your ores. Uh, then there's the speedometer displays your movement speed. This one, not. I don't think... Oh, we're going to need a lot of copper, so I might as well just take a bunch of copper out. This one I don't feel like is super useful. I guess you could use it for testing your horse speed. Uh, never ports and redstone. Never ports is a bit, and redstone is a bit expensive for basically something that you're not really gonna be using once you got an elytra. Here we go, speedometer. Yeah. And keep moving 7.8 meet 5 meters per second, which is 7 blocks a second. Uh, I don't have any a blue high, ice highway, so I can't test that map, but that probably make it go right. Oh, you're going so fast. Anyway. Um, what's up? Uh, what's next? What's up next? Light level sensor displays the light level for of your location. Ooh, this is a bit more expensive. It's a tinted glass, a glowstone, and a daylight sensor. Now, tinted glass isn't too bad because you can get amethyst crystals quite easily. If I remember correctly, I even have an amethyst geode somewhere. Ah, 
over there. This area got a bit destroyed a couple of add-ons ago. I used a uh, trunk base to find a, uh, a uh, not an amethyst yet, a, uh, I think it was an iron vein because I need more iron so I went to, went to get an iron vein. On the way there I found this geode. So yeah, you just dig around a bit and you're probably going to find one that's not super difficult to find. You get a fair few crystals quite easily. Just got to be careful to not break the budding amethyst. There we go. Yeah, I almost got a stack just from doing that. The daylight sensor though is a bit more tricky if I remember correctly. That's ne three never quartz and three of something else. Q. Oh, no. Ah. Control Q, Q. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Looks like I'm swimming up here. I should probably get rid of that water because it's probably causing a bit of lag. I remember water used to call flowing water. If you had a lot of flowing water back in the day, it would cause quite a bit of lag. Back when I played on Java. And then you take that never, uh, not never cause, you take the amethyst and you get some glass. I can't remember if it's glass around the amethyst or amethyst around the glass, but. Yeah, four amethyst round, uh, one glass block, you get two tinted glass. Uh, and then it's a daylight sensor, which is three nether quartz and something else. Well, that's new. Sextant. Yeah. Uh, I am a child. Ah, yeah, three slabs and three glass. One, two, three, and slabs. One, two, three. Daylight sensor, and then what was I crafting again? Light level center sensor. That's. Oh yeah, I need one glowstone dust. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, yes, I do. For some reason. Yeah. There we go. Light level sensor. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 9, 6. Oh, even like. Uh, when it got 6 somewhere around here, it changed colour. So. It's not where you're looking, it's where you're standing, I think. Yeah, so, wait, 14. That can't be, I thought torches had a light level 12. Yeah, oh no, they do have 14. 12, 14. So you could get like, uh, if you're lighting up your base, yeah, oh, 15, it's all 15 here. So you would have to do this at night, but if you go time set zero, uh, not zero, mid night, eight, nine, eleven, ten, eleven, twelve, nine, seven, eight, seven, six, seven, yeah. Uh, it would be cool if it um, showed the light level like at night and not just. There's a fly on my head. Get away, fly. Oh, yeah. It's pretty dark over here. Because then, uh, if, it if it showed the light level at night, then... Oh. Then I wouldn't have, then you wouldn't have to do this at night, rather you could just do it during the day. 
But I don't know if that's possible. I'm surprised I can even tell the light level they could do this at all, to be fair. Because um, I was talking right, yeah, the Emerald Ore there. I was uh, talking to the creator of the. Uh... Oh, yeah, here we go. A light level is zero right here. Somewhere. It was right here somewhere. Three, two, one. Yeah, right here. Level of zero. This block? Hmm. Like, right here. It's a bit iffy on, like, where on the block, but that's probably because my world's a bit buggy. Sometimes this world... Some animals in this world just don't work properly. For some unknown reason. Do I have that? Wait, didn't I need the tinted glass? I thought I needed the tinted glass. Yeah, it showed that I needed tinted glass. That's odd. I guess the crafting room recipes aren't all 100% accurate. That's something that can easily be sorted out in an update. Mind you, it has been out for a bit now, so I'm surprised it's not been... So I'm surprised it's not been updated. I'm gonna go sleep the night away. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, I like suggested a features like uh, an item that you can like feed torches, and if the light level got to zero, it would place a torch where where that where that was zero for you. And he was like, "That's a cool idea, but I don't." Uh, well, he couldn't do it. I don't know. Ah, oh, maybe he could talk to the guys who made that, and maybe he could figure out with them or something. I don't know. Uh, then there's the biome sensor which oh this is uh this will be annoying to get because you need to find a lush cave to get one of those flowers and i don't have one of those flowers because i've not discovered a lush, lush cave in this uh, uh well i don't remember what it's called uh Hang new. Um. Actually, if we go into here, it should be in here. Okay, this is annoying. Wait, it's in here on the flowers. New. Ah. Huh. Oh wait, there it is. Spore Blossom, that's what it's called. Uh, boom. Oh, what else do we need for it? A Spore Blossom and Redstone Dust. Biome Sensor. Tells you what biome you're in, and I'm in the meadow. I thought it was a flower field. There's a bunch of flowers here, huh? This is meadow. And then let's go over here. Oh, let's go into game mode one, and then I can fly there. Still, here we go, we're now in a grove, now in the jagged peaks. Now we're in the forest. Yeah, this would be handy for building uh, farms. Uh, some farms rely on being in a certain biome, like a zombie... Uh, not a pi zombie piglin, a uh, hoglin farm. Zombie piglin farm is just never portals. Yeah, it is, it is useful, but I... Like, I'm not so sure about the spore blossom because they can be it can be a bit hard to find a uh, a lush cave biome. Uh oh yeah, I saw this earlier. 
the sextant displays the coronative phase of the moon and its fullness. Uh, phase waning Gibeus, fullness 75. I have no effing idea what that means. And I can't really think of a use for that one, to be honest. Mob radar displays a number of hostile and passive mobs. That's a calibrated skull center. That's really expensive. Marble Radar. Yeah, I would not recommend that, uh, um, crafting this, really. Because it just tells you how many there are in this area. It doesn't tell you where they are. Uh, now, if Mojang could get around to adding the glowing effect into uh, Bedrock Edition, and if it could, like, if that item gave the mobs a glowing effect, that would be cool. But... Eh, well, if you're like trying to build a mob farm and you're trying to find out where uh, where all the mobs are spawning. Uh, next up is the Chunk Mapper, which is a map. And uh, Do I have a paper in here? Yes, I do. I have plenty of paper. Chunk mapper. Uh, chunk coordinates and block coordinates. Uh, it's very hard to read because it's right behind there. Can I? Oh, no, that's one, not F1. Nope, okay. Coordinate displays relative coordinates with each chunk. So this is a chunk coordinate. So 10. Yeah, one, one. I'm not exactly sure how this is helpful or why you would want to craft this. Maybe someone smarter than me can figure it. Knows a use for that. But yeah, that's everything in this add on. A smaller one, and uh, the, yeah, it's got some cool items in it. Uh, some of the crafting recipes are a bit dubious. But honestly, if you don't like uh, how. Mojang bloody flies. Why are they swarming around with this? Now they were. I've had my window open all day and just today is like, hey, well, not even today, just right now. Anyway, um, yeah, so like I was saying, so there are some uh, cool things like the coordinates and the uh, and the time of day and like the compass and you know, clock being changed. Those changes are cool, but um. Uh, there are some that, uh, you know, like I said, I just don't really think is, are very useful or could be... Or the crafting recipes need to be changed because they're a bit too expensive. But overall, yeah, decent add-on. Can't remember how much it was, so can't tell you if it's worth, your, worth the money. But you, you can look it up and then decide for yourself uh, based on what I've shown you in this video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys uh, see. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And uh, bye bye.